So another tool that I've used quite a lot of, guys, is Tizak. So Tizak also seems to be Spear and Jackson. Um, I think Tizak's the real pro range, but I want to talk about some of the tools that have have definitely pushed it up in my, my list. Um, so I'll start off with the their crack and trial that I got off them. Um, now we we bit tight to the knuckles, but good quality steel. Now anybody knows Tyzak. Anybody knows Tyzak, they're probably more of an old school plaster, an old school spread. Um, and let me tell you, Tyzak were the thing in the day. They were the Marshall Town of their day. So yeah, old school spreads will recognise Tyzak. Um, from what I've heard, they fell off the they fell off the ball. They fell off the boat a bit, um, and they, I think they got good, good. Good um, deals with B and Q and stuff, and the, they went cheaper instead of top quality tools. But in my opinion, they're they're coming back. They're they have a big improvement. Same as Ox started off, everybody's laughing at them, and nobody's laughing now. Um, they're they're starting to compete. Um, so let, let's just have a wee look at the first trial I had. St this is still a good skimming trial. I can use this now. I could float that wall, skim a wall. I could do a full house with this. I could do many a job with this. It has not failed me. It's still going strong. Um, it's not not heavy. It's not light. You know, still good quality rivets. But um, yeah. So enough, enough about that. Let Let's see how they progress from this trial. Just within a year, how they actually upgraded. So you can see I have a bit of tape here. Now it's just copying the axle. So it was I was doing a cheap version, protect my knuckle. But look at this. They now have a finger guard. Again, look at the state of this trail. Um, like I said, this trail is a top class skimming trail, and you're probably thinking it's so clean. This is also a top class skimming trail, but it's stinking. If you want to know how I got that so clean, you're going to have to ask me in the comments, and I'm going to have to actually make the video, or I might have it. I don't know if I actually recorded how I cleaned this with minimal, minimal effort. No effort at all. It's it, This will be tenfold on anybody else's clean in a trial video and um, a couple of guys know what I'm talking about here and you'll see you'll see if, if, it, if people want to see it ask me and I'll spend time and I'll make that video but so upgraded straight away they came came up with something better and they got their they got themselves a finger guard and um, Again, they're they're up in it, up in the game. It's what we like to see. So this not 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 really that old on the channel. It's pretty a new tool, Spear and Jackson, on the handle there. So this here's really impressed me. That's why it's here. There's a couple of tools that didn't make it in with with other things. Um, but again, let, let's talk about this. Really impressed me. This isn't even meant to be on their top quality of tools but they, they need to upgrade this thing because it's it is cracker nice rounded corners perfect for around the tops of doors where your big trial won't fit you know too big perfect you know this is hitting oh it's hitting off everything making a mess this thing perfect it's nice and smooth i've used bits of sand cement and all you see me use it on the brick effect render if, if you just go along, if, if this is the first video you've ever seen, go ahead, have a look at the other videos, you, you'll see that this has been used on a few, especially the brick effect render, and the tools that I'm talking about have been used, but some of them, they don't get seen, you know, they just, they don't, um, they take, it's take me time to, to actually get them all, make videos with them, as I'm trying to earn money, but they're small trial, top quality, the only thing I would do with this, to improve this, would be, See the way the handle just protrudes a wee bit? If it was level, or just slightly in a bit, just literally make it smaller. It'll be it, it'll be the top class 
small tool out there because it's stainless steel as you can see the skin covered it not an ounce of rust on this thing top quality you know what I mean and that's why I'm talking about it again what's still going strong is very very impressive the Spear and Jackson bucket scoop doesn't even say Spear and Jackson on it anymore because it's been used that much this thing's actually it's very very sharp it's been used that much and um, it has cracked it's been cracked for a long time I'm waiting for it to break it doesn't seem to want to break so to me that means there's top quality steel there I know people it's not stainless steel it's not stainless steel but it doesn't matter it's a bucket scoop it's gonna last you a long time Spear and Jackson good quality cheap price it's a no-brainer for a bucket scoop if you ask me and um, there's a couple other ones I'm going to talk about in other videos but again absolute no-brainer and I would say it's probably one of the cheapest on the market but you know why listen to me have a look at the videos this videos speak for themselves there's a lot of them out there um, a lot of them out there from me as well you go through the channel you'll see when it was unboxed a long, long long time ago I'll try and find it get a description in there so you can actually I can back up what I'm saying here and um, they're small tool again used it on it either this one or a Ragnai one, but I used it on the Brick Effect render and other various videos. Small tool. Um, everybody needs to have a small tool in their life. So, going to do you perfect awkward areas, detailed work. These things here, believe it or not, I've used this on um, some set work. I worked on sets and this thing has earned me a fortune, along with a couple of other funny wee tools, the likes of that bucket scoop and stuff. Um, but yeah this thing can do amazing amazing work and um, the brick effect again brick effect um, it, it shows you how, how, how it does help um, and also you know there, there will be more to come from that there I'm hoping to do detailed videos so I want to talk about this it hasn't been on the channel for a big long time it, and it is rusting it's not stainless steel um, but did a video with this patching in floor screed and it was so comfortable like that handle you would nearly bad for the handle alone in my opinion and you can see how strong the handle it's like a double double rivet that steel here is like the handle's all bolted down onto that so you can lean on that handle all day long this thing has been dropped and kicked a few times already so already it's starting to impress me but in the future we'll know more, I try to stay away from screen because it hurts my wee back but again we'll know more about this in the future so on to another revelation revolution another evolving tool from Spear and Jackson look at this thing um, cracker changeable blade who does changeable blades? Axe. I don't think Refine is doing them yet. I say yet because all these companies will, will try and compete with each other. So, easy to take the blade in and out. Just slips in and out. I'm actually going to take it out now. But um, the only thing this doesn't have at the minute is it has no pole attachments. But for me, for a wee small straight edge, um, this thing is it's going to do you wonders. And again, I think it's very competitive, competitively priced online. Um, and with the changeable blade, putting it, putting it ahead of a lot of other spatulas out there. Um, so it's definitely one to, one to keep your eyes open for if you're thinking of getting a spatula. Have a look at these guys. Comp compare them, you know. I'm going to do more videos using this as well. I've already got a load up and um, haven't done great, but there's I use this thing doing ceilings and flattening up walls. And um, you're more than welcome. Get on, have a look at them too. Let 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 the videos speak for the tools. That's all, all I've ever been trying to do. And um, if I think something's good, I'm going to show you it, and that's why I'm showing you this because this is good. This could be your game changer. Um, I think I walked a few scenes bond and skin with this thing so you know get on long channel and have a wee look so you see and um, 
Spear Jackson do a lot of tools, a lot of everything, garden tools and stuff as well. I actually have a spade from theirs that is a very good bee spade used for metal detecting. Spear and Jackson saw. I think this was the precise precision one for neat cuts. Seen better days. They've got clamps and stuff from I think it's a wee company called Eclipse that are to do with a wee company. A big company called Eclipse to do with Spear and Jackson and Tysac are all sort of like one company or one they're like sister companies or brother companies. But get on, have a look around there. Leave me comments if you want to see that how I cleaned that trial, let me know. That's only a few comments away from actually me getting getting a chance to make that. Um but yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Is there any other tools from Tyzak or Spear and Jackson Eclipse that you just want to see me use? Let me know down in the comments and we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to hearing all the comments.